This is going to be a CSS3 tutorial on how to validate your CSS code. I will be using an online CSS validator. Let me jump over to my browser here. Okay, I have my web browser open now. This is the uh, online validator that I normally use to validate my CSS. Uh, I, will, I will include a link in the description to it. This is the W3C CSS validation service. It's uh, highly respected. It's probably the number one online CSS validator. The way that this works, there are tabs up top here. The very first tab by URL, if you're going to validate your CSS on, a, on an existing live website, most people don't do that, but if you're going to, you could uh, paste in the uh, URL of the website in which you're validating the CSS, and then you would click on Check. The way I normally do it, the way most people normally do it, click on the second tab here, which says by file upload. Then you would click on choose file. You want to find your CSS file on your uh, computer. My, my uh, website folder is right here. If I double click on my CSS folder here, there is my CSS file. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on open. Now I will click on check. It says congratulations, there are no errors. If uh, I'm going to open up VS Code here. This is the uh, CSS file that I was just now validating. If I put an error in this file, I'm going to put an error on line 112 here. I'm just going to put the um, I put an and sign in here. And actually, VS Code is telling me, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. As you can see, there's a red underline under that and sign. And it also said there's errors within the syntax of this entire area here. As you can see, it underlined that semicolon. It underlined this semicolon. And off to the left side here, you can see my CSS uh, file here is in red. And it says there's five errors on it. So CSS is actually telling you that there's errors on here, but if you if you miss that, and if you're trying to validate your CSS code on with an online validator, I'm going to jump back over. I'm going to save this file first. I'm going to go down to save. I'm going to save it with these errors. I'm going to go back to my online validator here. I'm going to go back to choose file. I'm going to select that file again. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on open. I'm going to click on check and it's going to tell me I have errors. Sorry, we have found errors. It tells me here that the errors are on line 113 and it's the and sign. It tells me right here there's an and sign and down below it shows uh, your code down below here. It just shows your code. But I'm going to go back to, it says it's on line 113. I'm going to go back to VS Code. It's actually on line 112. It's leading into line 113. If I erase that and I go back to file and down to save, now I've saved it where there's no errors. I'm going to go back to my online validator here. I'm going to click on choose file. I'm going to select that file again. I'm going to click on open and I'm going to click on check. Congratulations, no errors found. There's another way that you can validate your uh, CSS online, and that is the third tab by direct input. If I click on that third tab, you'll have to paste in your uh, CSS code into this box here. I'm going to go back to VS Code. I'm going to select all of my code. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to copy. Then I'm going to go back over to my browser. I'm going to put my cursor in that box. And I'm going to press Control V to paste my code into there. And then I'll go down to the bottom down here and I'll click on Check. Congratulations, no errors found. That is how you validate your CSS file using an online validator. Like I said, I will put a link down in the description of this uh, CSS validator. Thanks for watching.